Hi everyone, and today we're going to speak about PDF Ticket Customization My Ticket Events plugin. In case you don't know what My Ticket Events plugin is, it's a plugin that helps transform your WordPress website into a ticket event selling platform. With how we can do the seat reservation, create additional layouts on your website to search events, filter them by date and event calendars, etc. Uh, in this specific video, I will show you how to customize the PDF ticket. You will be able to add your logo, uh, add additional fields, or remove something that you do not need. All right, uh, let's begin now. The very first step is to navigate to your theme root folder and create my ticket events folder there. Just exactly as I'm showing on the screen right now. This folder is necessary for you to start PDF ticket customizations. So right now go to your My Ticket Events root folder and copy Ticket General folder into your newly created My Ticket Events uh, folder. So basically you need to copy templates from My Ticket Events plugin to your theme root folder before you can start customizing it safely. Uh, if we open the index.php file, what we can see right now is the code that actually generated the PDF ticket. So let's just scroll a little bit down and disable a couple of lines just to see how it's going to be reflected on the front end. So we can see like uh, some lines were missing. So it means that customizations are working and the files were copied successfully. Uh, the next thing what we're going to do is actually to add some custom text. Basically, I'm just trying to copy paste the printf command and just typing some random text like ticket is only valid um, once. I also add additional uh, HTML tag that will change the line of this text from normal black to from default black to red color. I can just type uh, it within the attribute style and name and add the attribute color semicolon red. So when we refresh the PDF ticket we can see that there is a new text highlighted in red color uh, ticket only valid once. So let's add the logo. Uh, the logo can be added with the help of the IMG tag, IMG HTML tag. Uh, straight away, I'm gonna set the logo width, which is 150 by X in my case. You can make it bigger or you can make it smaller, uh, depending on your preferences. And the search for the image, you're gonna think directly from my website. I'm clicking on the uh, preview image uh, from Chromi browser, copying the URL of the image and pasting it into IMG tag. BR actually adds some spacing uh, between the logo and the text below. So I'm saving the changes right now and proceeding to the preview. So as you can see, we have a nice preview of the logo on our PDF ticket. By default, the general ticket also includes the sub tickets. This is useful when you're processing one checkout, but actually want to separate tickets from multiple tenders that are gonna come to your event at different time. Not always you actually need this feature and maybe we can remove the sub tickets right now. Just find the second for each loop in the code, select this part of the code when the loop is actually ending and simply remove it. Remove all this part of the code. Save the ticket and right now we have only one single ticket that will be printed on a single page after your users will check out from your website. Thank you for watching. Maybe you have some questions, then you can reach me in the comment section below or use my uh, professional cans of support. And subscribe to my channel and like the video. Thank you for watching.